Ever dreamed of turning your kitchen into a post-apocalyptic diner? Me too. Well, buckle up, because we're about to turn this coffee break into a cinematic masterpiece using generative fill and After Effects. Let's dive into it. Okay, to start off, I'm in After Effects. I have a shot of me in my kitchen sipping on some coffee, and I'm going to take a still frame, and I'm going to export it by going to Composition, Save Frame As, File. Now, jump into Photoshop. I have that still, and I'm going to work on creating my scene. First, I'll scale the still down to 40%. That looks good, and I'll go to Layer, Merge Visible to flatten my scene. Now for the fun part. Using the Lasso tool, I'll create a garbage mask around myself, and I'm going to invert it, and I'm going to type in my prompt. If you want to see the full prompt I use, check the description, and I'll click Generate. And it does a pretty incredible job off the bat. I'll use number two. Okay, now I'm just going to clean this one up a little bit. I'm going to add a couple of windows. Maybe I could add some zombies later on in the windows. That looks good. All right, so I'm gonna add another one on the other side of me. And to hide the fact that my legs aren't actually there in the video, I'll add some sort of structure in the foreground. Perfect. It added a chair. So now I'll save my PSD file in Photoshop and I'll import it back into After Effects as a composition. I'll drag that into my comp. Now, remembering that I scaled down my screenshot to 40%, I'll do the same thing to my video clip. I'll bring my video clip underneath, and it looks pretty good. And I'll click on the sub comp to hide my subject layer. Due to my body movement, I need to tweak the mask a little bit and maybe add some feathering to it as well. I could do that in After Effects using the mask tool, and I'll select the part that's covering my head over here, and I'll feather it a little bit invert it. Now, I want to get rid of this light switch in the background. It's a little distracting. So to do this on my video clip, I'll use the clone stamp tool in After Effects. Make my brush size bigger with a feathered edge and hit Alt or Option to select the portion to pull from, just like Photoshop. And I'll gently draw over my light switch. Since this is a static clip, it works out great. I'll play around with it a little bit to fix the shadowy parts. And that looks good. Okay, so here's my composite so far. Let's take it a little bit further and add some zombies, shall we? So I'll zoom into my window and I'll create masks around each square of the window. And I'll change each mask to subtract, leaving an alpha channel underneath. Now I'll lay in my stock zombie clip I got and I'll lay this into my sequence, scale it down, reposition it, and I'll change the blending mode to hard light. So as of the recording of this video, After Effects Beta now allows not only GLB files, but GLB files with animations built into them. That means you can go on any stock site like TurboSquid or Sketchfab. In my case, I found this great animated crawling zombie on Sketchfab for free. Link is in the description. I'll download the GLB file from the site. So if you want to learn more about 3D compositing and After Effects, check out some of my other videos below. But for this one, so to make this work, I'm in After Effects Beta with my project. I'll simply import the GLB file, drag this into its own pre-comp. And in the drop down here, I can go to Animation Options and select Crawl. And from here, I'm just going to animate it using the transform elements. If it was a moving scene, you could do a 3D camera tracker. And after adding a little bit of camera shake to liven the shot up a bit, here's my final result.